Hey guys, hey, this is our brand new video editor. Welcome back, friends. This week, we hired our first employee. That's super exciting, we'll get to meet him soon. We also made a ton of cutting boards. Jenny had a TikTok that went viral. What else? Oh, we got something very special for the warehouse. Yes, we do. <laughs> You'll see that soon also, so stay tuned. A funny thing happened when we started facing our fears. Our dreams came true. Now, we fly into the world's most dangerous storms as hurricane hunters. We own multiple businesses as entrepreneurs, and we have an abundance left over to share with others. We have just one lesson to share. Don't follow your passion. Follow your fears and conquer them with your passion. That's how you achieve big goals. All right, welcome back. Another day, another sweatshirt. It's kind of chilly in the shop this morning. I think the thermometer says it's like 55 degrees in here, so not too bad, but a little chilly. I am going to start gluing up the rest of these cutting boards because Jenny is starting to run low. I need to start a batch of charcuterie boards and we might have a kitchen table job coming up, so I just need to move all of our current board inventory get it ready on the fulfillment rack so I can make room for the table. Not that I need to make room. Oh my gosh. Loving the shop. I thought that would work much better. There's so much room in here. I just glued all these boards up and I have a place to put them and they're not in the way of anything else. And I could buy 10,000 more clamps and still have space for them. It's just so nice. Yeah, I guess now what I can do is I can go get more clamps. We're eventually gonna, no, I'm not gonna spoil that. You're gonna have to subscribe and see what I was gonna talk about later, but we're gonna get a final clamping solution. It's gonna be amazing. So subscribe, keep watching, and uh, maybe one day we'll see it. Two hours later. Just bought all the pipe clamps Home Depot had, yet again. All right, so I'm gluing up the last two boards here. And I've been thinking a lot. There's a lot of you that are very upset that we throw our scraps into that bin and then burn them or just throw them out because they're not up to standards for us to make a profit with them. Um, so Jenny and I had an idea. We'll just sell the scraps to you guys if you really want them that bad. As long as you cover the cost of shipping and a little bit of our time to box them up for you, we have no problem shipping you guys the scraps. So. I guess it's time to put your money where your mouth is. If you want our scraps, you think you can do something with them, uh, we're more than happy to send them to you. Here's how this is gonna work. We're gonna pack a bunch of these scraps. It's random cutoffs from cutting boards, random cutting boards that just didn't work out. We're gonna stuff them into one of these boxes. It's an 18 by 12 by four box. We're just gonna close this box and ship it to you. You get what you get. There's not gonna be any choosing or picking. It's gonna be hard maple, cherry, and maybe some walnut corners of charcuterie boards. Um, they're not all gonna be slats like this. As long as you cover shipping and our cost of time to pack these boxes up, you're essentially saving these poor slats from being burned and or thrown out. So do with that what you will. The next morning. Good morning. It is time for a board fulfillment and it is kind of chilly in here today. Honestly, it was really weird. It's like 40 degrees when we woke up, but yeah, it's it's not too bad. It warms up midday, but first thing in the morning when you gotta do boards, it's like, whew, my fingers are, fingers are cold. So yeah, this is a board for another realtor. So let's get into it. Hello. 
Hello, I just wanted to give you a little tour of my Samara office now that it's kind of getting finished. Um, so it's so nice because I actually have room to do stuff. I can film TikToks in here. I can take video in here. I can take pretty pictures. I just, all sorts of stuff. I had zero room to do in our spare bedroom that doubled as a storage unit. This is my desk. I have my little computer here. And then I've got like my orders and receipts. I got a little couch to chill back there. And then I have my ring light up over here so I can film TikToks in this nice looking little corner. I've got my little poppers that I pop when I make a sale and it's just been a really nice room and it's just been super fantastic. So now that I'm done fulfilling that board, we're going to do one of my most hated tasks in the whole wide world and that is reporting our quarterly sales tax. Let's just get this over with, shall we? So yesterday was an insanely busy day. I got so much done, but today's been kind of a more chill day. And so today I'm filming a bunch of TikToks and Instagram reels. Let's get to it. Ugh. Don't worry, I got you guys. I caught you. I wouldn't let you fall. But okay, this TikTok stuff is gonna be a little difficult because trends come and go so quickly. Some of the like musical trends that you have to hop on are done and over with and not cool anymore after like three days. So I need to make some content to post with like trends that are gonna die in three days and some evergreen content that won't be out of season, not cool anymore, out of popularity in a week and a half from now. It's a bit of a challenge, but I'm up for it. So amidst all this talk of productivity and everything, you also have to set aside time to play hard. So that's why we got this. A mini basketball hoop. One of our goals is to have our businesses voted the best place to work. This is really the goal that drives us to grow and scale our businesses. I mean, there's lots of reasons, but this is the main one that gets us excited. This week, we took the first step towards that goal by hiring our first official employee. Hey guys, hey, this is Caleb. He is our brand new video editor. He's amazing and he's also got a really cool desk. Yes. Desk is cooler than my desk. <laughs> What's up guys, uh, my name is Caleb. I am the new editor for Jenny and Davis. I was a freelance photographer and looking for some production experience, so glad I got to be a part of this. All right, what's your biggest goal right now on the horizon? So, my biggest dream is to be in missions, photography, and video. The reason I love photography so much is because just a still image can capture so much emotion and being able to travel all across the world, capturing different moments of different cultures and different people and just their relationship with the Lord would be super cool and sharing that with other people is probably my biggest dream. My family and I went to Zambia, Africa when I was just starting high school 
and that's what spurred my love for missions. Met a whole bunch of kids who lived in poverty, but just had so much joy and just really inspired me to live my life um, and being grateful for what I have and always looking for what's next. So I think the number one question on everybody's mind is, would you rather have a giraffe neck or baby hands? See, your problem was you already have small hands. Yeah, but like hands like a baby, like I already need the iPhone mini. I get made fun of for already having a long neck, so I think I just got to embrace it and go giraffe neck. Go full giraffe neck. Go full giraffe neck, got to commit. <laughs> What's your favorite snack? Uh, it's kind of ironic that I don't like cheese. My favorite snack is Cheez-Its. Uh, it doesn't make any sense because I hate cheese, but I could eat Cheez-Its all day long. So what are you looking forward to in this job? What are you looking forward to learning? Um, I'm really just excited about gaining more experience with editing. Uh, I've done a lot in the past, but more repetition, it helps with better storytelling, which is what I really want to do in the future. Um, so the more I can do now, the more that I can get better in the future. How you treat your first employee is how you're going to treat your next 10 employees. And we kind of lied to you. Caleb isn't technically our first employee. We're both captains in the Air Force, so we've had a lot of experience managing and supervising other people. It just has been in a military sense, not so much in a private business sense. But that's not even what I'm talking about. Davis and I are the first employees of our business, and we've been treating them pretty terribly. We're talking long hours, no weekends, no vacations, no overtime, really high standards, stuff that's completely unfair to employees in general. Based on our previous treatment of ourselves, this is a terrible place to work right now. And we can't keep treating our employees, ourselves included, like this. So we've decided to make a change. Starting right now, this is a great place to work. To our business, that means a couple of things. We want our employees to feel like that their work matters and makes a difference to the business. We want to make sure that they're consistently growing as people and that they're given plenty of opportunities and incentives to stay with us long term. And that starts right now. If we don't prioritize our employees now, we're never going to in the future. This week, it looks like snacks and a basketball hoop, but eventually that's gonna turn into competitive pay, benefits, and career advancement opportunities. On the other hand, we can't become too dependent on any one person because we risk burning them out or the business failing if they choose to take a position outside of our organization. It's a really tough balancing act. Most people can't even manage themselves, much less another person. I mean, this is a huge undertaking, but pickles aren't easy for a reason. They're difficult to achieve. We hope that by setting our priorities straight from the very beginning, that this will snowball into uh, our eventual goal of being voted one of the best places to work. Now, I know we're about to get a ton of comments saying employees are the worst or don't waste your time or never trust your employees. Let me talk to those people for just a half second. Would you want to work at a company where they thought about their employees that way? I wouldn't either. This has been done before. It's not wishful thinking. It's not pie in the sky mentality. This, this has happened before. Businesses can stay wildly profitable and be a great place to work for the employees. There's literally an award for it. So what we're doing is we're reverse engineering their concepts and principles and applying that with what we've learned from our, our military experiences and trying to achieve the same thing for ourselves. The only opinion we're really interested in hearing is those of you that have worked for a company that's won this award. So we'd really love to hear your experience down in the comments. Let us know what company it was, what year they won that award, and what you think contributed to their success. Or how did you feel as an employee of that company? What did it look like to you for them to have won that award? But yeah, as for us, um, you're just gonna have to subscribe and see how this plays out. Caleb's editing the YouTube videos from now on. I mean, he's got the keys to the Ferraris. So you'll just have to see how it works out for him. He's done a great job so far and we can't wait to see how else he can grow and make our videos so much better. No pressure. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Ask me how I do it, I just stick to the plan.